Smart Pizzas with you. In this episode, you'll see the 100 rarest moments with animals captured on camera. This picture was taken in the African savanna. We can see two wild boars fighting against a huge snake. One boar is already in the grips of the snake, with its brethren racing to rescue. However mighty the snake may be, I think it has no chance to overpower the two furious boars. What do you think? When you live in an area with dangerous wild animals, you need to always be on your guard, especially if you have pets and domestic animals. A CCTV camera captures a livestock pen where a lion had previously entered. During the night, the farmer heard the sounds and the animals started running out of the pen. They sensed they were about to be helped. The farmer saw the lion and threw a stick in its direction. Surprisingly, it worked. He managed to save his domestic animals, and the lion apparently stayed in the pen or escaped through the back door. There are also direct collisions in broad daylight. Here, the lion got into the village while there was almost no one in it. The lion passes along the road, the dog of the author of the video barks loudly and tries to chase it away, and at some point rushes towards the predator. The lion, which in another situation would have fought and defeated the dog, got scared and ran away. You don't see this every day. Always look through the peephole before opening the door when the doorbell rings. And if there's no one on the other side of the door, don't open it. After all, this can happen. Yes, this is a real tarantula that climbed on the doorbell and showed off in front of the cameraman that installed it. I definitely wouldn't leave the house for a couple days after that. Yes, the bite of a venomous tarantula is not dangerous for humans, but I don't think there's anything pleasant in such a bite. And here's another intruder that's decided to sit on the doorbell. Look, it's not alone. Suddenly, out of nowhere, another spider swoops in and attacks it. I wonder if the first spider stayed hanging on the doorbell afterwards. This is roughly what a typical golf game looks like in British Columbia, a province of Canada. The man is so focused on hitting the ball that he doesn't even want to pay attention to the bear that's entered the course. It, in turn, respects the rules of the game and doesn't interfere. In general, although it looks unusual, there's nothing particularly surprising about it. Bears are not as reckless as they're thought to be and do not attack everyone indiscriminately and without reason. Still, the moment was tense and dangerous enough. But far more dangerous is what's happening in this footage taken in Florida. This muddy pond is inhabited by alligators that hide behind the marshy surface. But local children are not stopped by this. They dive into the water and play literally a couple feet away from the predators. This is something you can only see in Florida. There, the locals are so used to alligators that they're not afraid of them at all. Here we see some kind of surfer's competition or their usual performance. Everyone's getting ready, but the main surfer doesn't want to wait. The dog surfer can't wait to ride the wave. It's not going to wait for the organizers to make their speeches and takes matters into its own hands. I mean, its paws. The dog dashingly dragged the board to the sea, and when the man set it up, the dog immediately jumped in and started surfing. While everything is peaceful and serene on the coast of the United States, in Africa the classic showdown between animals does not subside. Not so long ago, tourists on safari filmed a lion hunting a buffalo. The lion should be given credit, apparently it's still young, but this didn't prevent it to fell the bull, which is much larger than it. The predator began to claw at it and was about to successfully end its first big hunt, but congeners came to the buffalo's aid. One of them started poking it with its head and horns. It seems to be a stupid tactic, but in fact, it was an unusual help. The giant helped its congener to roll over, and the latter had no trouble throwing off the insolent but very promising hunter. Speaking of hunters, Africa is full of them. These are lions, crocodiles, birds of prey, and leopards. Here, by the way, is one of them, and the situation is tense. Unlike other spotted African cats, cheetahs, these creatures pose a danger to humans. Here, too, the leopard got close to the car with tourists, literally stuck its nose inside, and became interested in the shoe of the author of the video. 
At this moment, you can check out what sharp claws the leopard has and what a big paw it has. If the wild cat had wanted to, it would have torn both the shoe and the foot in one blow. But fortunately, this didn't happen. The leopard turned out to be just curious and also a bit fearful. It moved away as soon as the driver turned on the engine. We see a squirrel in front of us eating something. Soon a tit flies in. I'm sure many of us think of tits as harmless birds that are not capable of doing any evil things. But this video will convince you otherwise. The bird brazenly stole a treat right from under the nose of the squirrel. The rodent didn't even have time to stand up for itself. Stealing isn't the worst thing tits can do. In fact, they often do it. In addition, tits do not disdain cannibalism, breaking the skulls of their congeners with their thick and powerful beak. They do the same with small rodents and even bats. Yes, these are the birds that we can see on the streets of our city. And here's another thief, or rather a whole criminal gang. A small group of boars crept up to someone's house, found a package, and cheekily stole it. Imagine the homeowner's disappointment when he saw the CCTV footage. A resort area combined with a port. Everything seems calm at first, but soon people start to panic. You see those splashes in the water? That's what's causing the panic. Soon, a sea animal swims up to the people, aggressively waving its tail and scaring them. It's logical to assume it's a shark, but it's a tuna. Surprisingly, these large fish are also capable of causing panic as real sharks. But unlike the toothy monsters, this tuna was most likely just lost, disoriented and floundering, trying to swim back to the depths. It certainly didn't want to hurt anyone. Once again, we have a situation off the coast, and this time it's a shark after all. It's a hammerhead shark, and it was hunting. No, not the man. As you can see, it was, on the contrary, indifferent to him, although the vacationer was clearly frightened. In fact, the shark was chasing some fish, and the prey used a clever tactic. It hid behind the man and used him as a shield, which the shark did not dare to penetrate. One can come across a lot of creatures on the shore. There are hammerhead sharks, tunas, and even orcas. These killer whales visit coastal areas occasionally, but in this footage, something happened that doesn't happen very often. The orca swam near tourists on inflatable boats and as if to evaluate them, to check them out, but not to eat them. Despite the fact that orcas are predatory and large animals, they do not attack people and you can even swim with them together. Besides, later it turned out that this orca was busy hunting and tracking turtles underwater, so it wasn't interested in tourists on the boat at all. Barefoot skiing is a cool pastime. You hold onto a rope attached to a boat and glide on your feet on the river or the ocean, experiencing cool emotions. But the main thing is not to let your guard down. Any moment a shark can come flying out at you, even in the river. This guy was barefoot skiing on the Brisbane River in Australia, and a bull shark tried to attack him, which can live well even in fresh water. You can see that the predator was aiming exactly at the thrill seeker, not just jump out at an unfortunate moment. Fortunately, they missed each other. After all, bull sharks are bloodthirsty and dangerous. The predator wouldn't have missed the chance to eat. Coastal restaurants are nice places where you can have a good time, but there's one downside. They're often frequented by animals that want to steal some food. And it's okay if it's some seagulls, but in this case, a bear came to the restaurant. Of course, the guests had to scatter and leave the tables so the bear could choose any of the tables. It seems that it didn't like it very much on the first floor, and it went to the second floor straight to the people. But don't worry, it didn't touch them. The bear was just curious. I liked the confidence with which that brown bear did everything it did. It was as if it knew exactly where it had to go and what it wanted. This northern relative of its, on the contrary, is unsure and in doubt. Look how it hesitates and can't jump into the water. From the outside, it looks funny. Polar bear shakes its head, walks back and forth, assesses the distance, but still cannot jump. It's as if the water is not a few inches, but 10 feet away. But in the end, the bear still made all the mathematical calculations in its head, calculated the trajectory and distance, and dived. 
I suggest you just take a look at this happy and chilling dog that knows exactly how to relax. Swimming down the river, you can come across various logs, mud, rocks, fish, and more. But you hardly expect to find a big moose waiting for you in the middle of a calm river, do you? It reminded me of elephants blocking African roads. These tourists also had to wait a bit to get further. And these guys came across an active moose. It galloped dashingly down the river, and it looked unusual. Either it was very shallow, or this moose had acquired superpowers and learned to run on water. The owners of this house were clearly shocked when they saw the commotion in front of their porch the next morning. Some footprints, an overturned barrel, and so on. They probably thought thieves were trying to get in, and they certainly didn't expect the deer to cause havoc. But the video put everything in its place. The two males fought right in front of the porch. The fight was apparently over a female that was watching the fight at the time. Raccoons are capable of many things. For example, they don't mind stealing food when they get the chance. They also sometimes get drunk, just like people. And these cute creatures love to go down the slide. Don't believe me? See for yourself. Check out how these chubby creatures enjoy their free time. Such wonderful conditions were created for them in the shelter, where orphaned raccoons were taken as babies. Here, they can have fun and get stronger before they return to the wild. Everyone knows that parrots are great at imitating the human voice and can even talk to people. Are you famous? But did you know that parrots are even great at imitating melodies? Here's just such an impersonator. Listen up. Does everyone recognize this tune? Of course, it's the classic iPhone ringtone. Yes, of course, the feathered creature sang out a tune a couple of times, but that's forgivable because it was able to surprise us anyhow. Crows are also great at imitating sounds. Hi. Hi. They job. too can talk, and their intonation is even similar to that of a human. Check it out for yourself. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> But that's not all. Just like humans, crows can be very generous and helpful. In this footage, a crow was pecking at bread and a mouse was hanging around it. The rodent clearly wanted to eat but was afraid to approach the formidable bird. The crow realized it and gave the mouse some food. The mouse gladly accepted the gift. Birds never cease to amaze us. In the following footage, we see both the strange and surprising behavior of turkeys. They formed an entire circle and began to circle around the body of a deceased cat. This circle dance resembles a funeral rite, doesn't it? But scientists think it's something else. According to one version, turkeys are not very intelligent creatures, so they can start circling in place, following each other for no reason. According to another version, the phenomenon can be explained by the relationship developed during evolution between a predator and its potential prey. The prey often makes it clear that it's unaware of the presence of the predator, and in some cases, the predator is forced to stop its hunt. In addition, this demonstrative behavior can serve as a kind of warning to congeners. I don't know about you, but I still like the version with a funeral rite, even if it's not correct. Dogs can do a lot of things. They can even master a surfboard. See for yourself how this cool Labrador conquers the water. It stands quite confidently on the board, and when it falls from it, it gets up and continues its journey by itself. Yeah, it doesn't ride huge waves, but it's not necessary. On the board, this tailed surfer rides better than many people. By the way, can you surf? Let me know in the comments. I hope that Labrador wasn't swimming in an area that was swarming with sharks. By the way, this is what it looks like. Dozens of real sharks are right off the shore. You ever seen something like that? If it hadn't been caught on camera, no one would have believed that these creatures actually congregate in such huge groups so close to the shore. It's not all that creepy, though. As the author said, he filmed the nervous sharks from a drone. That's really what they're called. They're nicknamed so because of their timid behavior toward people. They're not a danger to us. The animal world is amazing because literally any creatures can become best friends here. For example, a dog can become best friends with a rooster. Such an alliance even sounds strange, but it happens. Duke the rooster and Leia the Australian Shepherd love to play, have fun, and chase each other. Hit the like button for this unusual animal friendship. And here's another amazing friendly alliance. 
the farmer's cat has become this horse's best friend. Despite the fact that the horse is 10 times bigger than the furball, this doesn't prevent it from having a great time with it. The cat flirts a little with the horse and bites it, but in a friendly and loving way, without wanting to harm it. The furball also likes to sleep, leaning against the ungulate's muzzle. All in all, that's a great alliance. As the farmer says, these two hang out together all the time. By the way, I think this cat has picked up quite a few habits from the horse and now gallops. It goes like this. And a little more about cats. I think it's no secret that these little predators love to bring their owners prey. It could be a mouse, something, or a snake. That's right. If you live in Thailand, this cat found a snake somewhere on the street and decided that the best solution would be to bring it into the house. Of course, the cat scared everyone, but the cat just wanted to help people by getting dinner. Speaking of help, take a look at this dog named Cherry. She's a real homemaker. When the girl decided to spread the rug on the floor, Cherry actively helped her. First, the dog tried to smooth out the pleats, and then she helped her owner straighten one of the corners of the rug. It's great that this moment was caught on camera. Thank you. <laughs> In this footage, we see a typical African picture, a wounded and exhausted buffalo being eaten by a lion. The predator deliberately chooses a secluded place where no one would find it, but it underestimated the hyenas that sneak in anywhere. The moment one hyena saw the lion and the buffalo, it called its congeners, and in a minute, more than a dozen gigglers pulled up on the place. They either claimed the buffalo or wanted to help it, but in either case, they began to pester the lion, trying to bite its tail. The big cat didn't pay attention at first, but eventually it lost its nerves. The appetite was spoiled after this. The lion stood with the hyenas for a little longer and left. The hyenas, as it turned out, didn't want to help the buffalo at all. When the lion left, they took advantage of the moment. The whole clan pounced on the giant and finally killed it. By the way, did you know that African buffaloes have terrible eyesight? They assess their surroundings mainly by means of their keen sense of smell and hearing. Sometimes they can't see the enemy literally at point blank range. That's why we get such funny moments as in this case. A lioness approached a herd of buffaloes and lurked in the bushes not far from them. One of the buffaloes went to chew grass right to that bush and ended up literally a couple of meters away from the lioness. But even then, the horned giant didn't see the predator. It only realized what was going on when the lioness got up and ran at it, dispersing the entire herd. This horned guy urgently needs some good glasses. The family was on vacation. They stopped outside the house and started unloading things. As they said, the car doors were closed but not locked, and so during another approach to the car, they found the door open. Who could have opened it? Maybe some criminal? In a way, yes, because a bear had broken into the car. The little bear was rummaging around in the car looking for something tasty to eat. As you can see, it accomplished its goal. After eating a little, the bear went about its business. And here's another cheeky thief. Yes, this octopus right here. According to the diver, when he saw the octopus on the bottom of the ocean, he dove deep and set up a camera to take pictures of the mollusk. But the octopus liked the camera so much that it decided to steal it quietly. The mollusk covered the equipment with its tentacles, hid the camera, and was about to swim away. It also released ink to confuse the diver. But that doesn't work with humans, of course. The diver calmly took his equipment. I even feel a little sorry for the octopus. It just wanted to be the first video blogger in the ocean. From the very first seconds of this video, one might assume that we're looking at an ordinary child playing somewhere in the yard, but it's a monkey. It's amazing how this little primate with its clothes on looks like a child from some angles. It also looks like a child in terms of behavior. The monkey is genuinely excited about the walk and the snow, just like little kids do, somersaulting, frolicking, and even tasting the snow. All in all, it had a great day. Remember at the beginning of the video, I compared a moose in a river to an elephant on the road? Let's now look specifically at the elephant on the African road. It's claiming that white car. In such cases, drivers usually sit quietly in the car and hope the elephant doesn't crush them. But this tourist decided not to wait. He ran out of the car and ran somewhere into the thicket. 
The elephant clearly wasn't expecting that. It even walked away from the car a little. The elephant then went into the thicket to find its new friend, but they missed each other. The man ran past and quickly ran to the car. I don't think he's going to Africa anymore. And lastly, I suggest you take a look at some incredible footage. It may look like a storm of leaves, but it's not. In fact, we're looking at a swarm of monarch butterflies. These creatures are very beautiful in their own right, but their migration is even more beautiful. In North America, these black and orange butterflies begin migrating south in August before the first frost. To keep warm, they migrate in large groups of thousands to tens of thousands of individuals. During migration and overwintering, the butterflies cling to trees, entirely resting on them to continue their flight. They migrate a distance of over 1,800 miles. No butterfly is able to survive the entire flight, so some butterflies start the migration and others, which are their descendants, finish it. Such an amazing, but at the same time a little sad, phenomenon. Frightening cases with animals wait for you next. As a warm-up act, we start from this shot that's supposed to have been filmed somewhere in the Amazon. This river teems with dangerous and unusual animals. This is obviously one of them. The author of the shot assures the monster was real. Personally, I can also believe it, considering other findings made in the Amazon. In addition, there are many clues that dreadful underwater monsters inhabit all the world. Here's one of them. The author of the video did nothing when suddenly his boat was attacked from beneath. The attack was powerful, as we can see. It's surprising that the person managed to remain standing. Who that was? Somebody say those were the playful manatees. Maybe it's not them, but somebody not known to science? By the way, without any mysterious creatures, there's enough dreadful monsters in the sea. Here's one of the most famous. Sharks. Put it exactly, they're bull sharks. That looked as if the diver found himself in their den right in the hub. There were so many sharks that the diver had a miraculous escape. No fish started attacking him. In the case with the bull sharks, it's real magic. All right, don't strain yourself. In this edition, you'll find not only scare stories, there's also some interesting and funny moments. Here's an example. The dogs went out for a stroll, but the door closed. It's good that they saw people ringing the bell. The clever dog buzzed the door and nobody opened it. Maybe the hosts forgot about their pets and were out on their way. It's time the dogs learned to use not only the bell, but the keys as well. Just imagine you wake up in the morning, go to your car when suddenly you see that its glass is broken and the frame is bent. Somebody was obviously trying to get into it. Who was that? Car thief? Or were those hooligans at night? There's another version, a bear. Exactly this bear. Look at how the female bear decided to steal a car with the cubs and literally weathered the window out. Then she got inside but changed her mind and decided not to steal the vehicle. It was supposedly driven by a mechanical gearbox, whereas the bear couldn't drive such cars. It's good that all that was captured on surveillance camera, otherwise the insurance company wouldn't believe the car owner. The bears often get into cars. In this case, it was even unnecessary to break the window. The door was open. The curious bear got into and sat himself. The car owner appeared and couldn't understand why the door was open. Soon, everything fell into place. The girl left apples, got frightened, and ran away. However, we cannot say who was frightened most. The bear was also shocked. In the end, the animal decided to snatch away a couple of apples to eat stress down. Floating on the water barefoot is cool. You don't even need any equipment, just a boat and a rope. That provides maximum water contact. To the extent that even fish think that you belong. For example, this bull shark decided to welcome the sportsman and offered a high five with its tail. To be a little less flippant, he was lucky that the shark didn't glide it. Otherwise, that would come to a sticky end. We're used to those are not only children who like playing catch up, but animals as well. Along with this, different animals can play. Here we can see a dog with a horse. A boxer told the horse, you're it. Therefore, the horse started chasing the dog. The dog was weaving along and zigzagging, so he didn't have to be in the lead. The horse was likely to give in. These animals are faster than dogs. Some like playing catch-up, whereas others, swinging and trampolining. These bears made a small amusement park in the backyard of the local residents. 
First, the bear decided to swing. Then the animal joined their brethren on the trampoline. They didn't understand its working principle then. That's why they were not jumping on it, but fighting. Nothing happened. A couple of visits more and they'll learn to jump, not worse than real performers. They'll definitely impress people. The way this elephant cub does. It's a real star. Look at how it dances in front of the public. The animal obviously likes that people are focused on it. Its mother elephant is also pleased that her cub is so popular. She doesn't oppose to those interested watching it. Just in case, she showed the teeth. Maybe to prevent them from asking the young dancer to sign an autograph. As you can see, you relaxed with these nice and funny clips. Then watch this. Have you expected that the spider would assault that unexpectedly? That was really dreadful. What's a nice turtle? It's surely harmless and going to accept the treat, right? All right, it wasn't necessary to attack that abruptly. The animal could just say it wasn't hungry. By the way, that was the common snapping turtle that's also dubbed as a biting one. Now you understand why. These turtles are dangerous and not nice anyway. It's interesting if that man will be fined for walking his pet in the trade center. Basing on the law, it doesn't look like that. It's not likely that somebody dares to approach him. This huge cat decides for itself where to walk. Anyway, it was not as smart as this raccoon. We thought these creatures aren't the brightest bulb in the chandelier, and the only thing they can do is wash the food, steal the fodder, and so on. But look at what this raccoon does. It knows that there's something in this bottle. That's why the animal empties it out to examine the contents. Of course, that's a domestic raccoon who was surely taught how to do that. However, that's also surprising. The soldiers must be brave and courageous to defend people. At times, they're not afraid of fighting against their enemy and be under attack. But they're scared of the geese. This goose went against the whole army and overturned a soldier. The rest of them had to stay away from it. Who knows? They should admit the winged officer into their battalion. What animals can get into a house? A bear? A raccoon? And what about a bat? Rarely, but that happens. These people found many batmen in their house. It was an intruder. That's why they decided to chase the animal away. The catcher managed to net a mouse at the first attempt. Following that, it was released. The crows are very clever creatures, isn't angry with them. This is how the animal friendship is born. This dog and the horse made friends through the fence. For security purpose, their host didn't allow them to play in one enclosure. However, that didn't prevent them from running together, even when separated from each other by the fence. If I were on the people's place, I'd let the dog into it. Look at how the horse relates to it. The animal would definitely not do any harm to its new friend. Friendship can also exist between the wild animal and a human. This octopus liked the diver and a suit, to such the extent that the mollusk stuck to the man's hand and was not going to leave him. Though just a second later, the octopus got upset with something and left a black cloud behind to mislead the offender. That's why we can say exactly that their friendship was very short. Imagine you're approaching Starbucks to buy coffee and see this unusual cue. A whole group of moose gathered on the parking place near Starbucks. What were they doing there? Did they feel sleepy and urgently needed to boost their energy? Or did someone come for a job interview? In the latter case, they would have supposedly been rejected. Diving is always interesting. You can see many different underwater plants and sceneries, look at the fishes, or bump into a crocodile that chases you. The author of this video encountered the dangerous saltwater crocodile. These animals are extremely aggressive. The author was lucky that he escaped the hunt. Right, despite the fact that a crocodile encounter underwater is really unpleasant, it's quite expectable. As for the cougar, it can stalk you wherever possible, even near your house, as it happened in the next video. They stare at each other down for a long time, more than the original video lasted. Fortunately, that didn't go farther than staring. The cougar didn't try to force its way into the house. This is the most important thing. The scientists tell that the bears are not so dangerous as considered. I don't know about that. Anyway, after watching this video, I don't think so. That was some incredibly aggressive grizzly. Even that assault looked dreadful. This is what a victim can see at the last moment. Who said that public transport is designed only for people? Animals can also use it. 
This is exactly what this pig thinks. The animal waited for the right bus on the stop. As it came, the pig got on it together with its host. It's interesting if it'll pay the fare. It's not clear why the cockatoos decided to feast on the wheel coating at home. I have only one question. Do they really think it's eatable? How can we explain that event? Do you have an explanation to this behavior? If you have any version, share them in the comments. Dolphins are considered to be clever and kind. It isn't worth arguing that they're very smart. But are they kind? I cast doubt on that. At least this dolphin proved that these animals can behave disreputably in relation to people. One of them simply knocked down a girl for no apparent cause. What's more, that happened right on the shore. By the way, look at how her dog intervened. The animal will not take such treatment with its hostess. Do you remember that common snapping turtle that frightened you? I think you've recovered from that moment. If so, here's another biter. Imagine that you douse and first thing you see is this reptile. In this, everything worked out fine without any assaults and bites. It's a good thing. These turtles have monstrous jaws. Therefore, this encounter can end up, if not tragically, then at least extremely unpleasant. It's not clear what animals think about. No sooner had the man gone out of the gates of his house than a deer bumped into it and knocked it down. I wonder what it was done for. After all, the man had neither bothered it nor threatened it. Instead, you can understand the behavior of this bear. The American black bear smelt something tasty in the kitchen of this married couple and decided to get into it. The man was trying to chase it away, producing loud sounds. In the beginning, it seemed to work out. At least the bear remained to stand outside and did nothing. Soon the animal started acting and broke the window. People got frightened and went upstairs. Anyway, that's usual that a predator gets more scared. So it didn't get into and broke into a run. Bears can give you a lot of emotions, especially when they start dancing. This animal decided to practice a pole dance. At first it failed to catch on, but changed the situation for better later and performed that passionate dance. No way. The bears scratch their backs this way. Anyhow, that looks like a dance, right? Are you acquainted with the feeling when you stand in the shallow waters with your back turned and the waves coming? You don't know how big it is? The same happens not only to people, but animals as well. Here, the wave descended on the penguins. These creatures are accustomed both to the waves and the ice in hard weather conditions. However, they can also be caught unaware. From outside, the man can seem shooting a hippopotamus that passed away some time ago. Don't worry, that's not the case. In reality, the hippopotamus must have been napping. When they sleep in the water, they're more likely to be napping than sleeping heavily. They need to emerge on the surface every three to five minutes to breathe in. That's exactly what happened in this video. Somebody finds it comfortable to sleep in the water, whereas somebody else to stand on the trees. This is the very strange and important feature of the Moroccan goats. They can easily climb the trees to get food, the leaves and fruits. They have a congenital balancing function. They can stand long and not fall down. There are even special tourist places you can visit to observe that interesting phenomenon live. This phenomenon I wouldn't observe live. I mean the crocodile's capability to disguise. These predators dig themselves into a swamp and lie motionless as if waiting for a victim. Covered by ooze and mud, they merge with the swamp and make it difficult to discover them. That's why the Florida swamps inhabited by the alligators are considered very dangerous places. What can you do if you have a lot of rubbish but garbage men are not going to come and pick it up? You can call a black bear and the animal will do this job. This bear snatched away some garbage bag. It was done not to clean the house anyway. The animal was just interested if there was something tasty inside. Anyway, it also managed to clean up, admittedly partially. We come back to the American black bear again. This time, the animal joined some party in a mansion. People foresaw this could happen and fenced off the building. Are you serious? Could it be that such a low door would stop the bear? Nobody knows what happened next. Anyway, I hope that the animal just joined the party and didn't do any harm to people. This diver survived a really dreadful experience when he saw that gigantic ray was moving in his direction. Another one followed. What's more, they had such long and sharp thorns. That's frightening. 
Anyway, you don't have to be afraid if you know who you're dealing with. The gigantic oceanic manta rays are absolutely harmless for people despite their huge size. Look, these are Melman and Marty from Madagascar. After all the adventures, they came back to the zoo. Their friendship didn't end. Well, it's very nice that such different animals get on with each other well, not only in the cartoon, but also in real life. Many like sunbathing and catch a few rays, as well as crocodiles. They're also entitled to warm themselves up, even on the key pier visited by many people. Anyway, this crocodile tried not to bother anybody. The animal even lay not in the center of the road, but on the edge, leaving a lot of space to pass by. Except that it was not likely that somebody would go around there with such a dangerous predator lying nearby. As we know, the griffins are carrion eaters. It means that they're not interested in attacking living creatures, right? Is this true? Not quite right. Sometimes these carrion eaters can attack people. It's not pleasant when such giant flies in your direction, is it? The cox is a different case. You may not wait for any aggression from them as they're not fearsome. Anyway, they can sometimes show off their power. A girl started shooing away this cock for some reason. The latter decided to send her away to protect itself and its hen house. It happens that animals, as well as people, have nothing to do and they try to kill the time. This otter found an interesting way of doing that. It started to play with a stone. It lies down on her back, puts a stone on it, and controls the stone to prevent it from falling down. What do you make of it? This spectacle is enchanting and frightening at the same time, at least personally to me. This is the egg-eating snake able to hypnotize us with its movements. It looks very unusual, but the main thing is not to approach the snake if you see it for yourself. This is how the reptile shows its readiness to attack and protect itself. Over and over, this snake doesn't pose a danger. It belongs to the water snakes and feeds exclusively on bird eggs. This is where its name comes from. This snake is bigger. It's much bigger. Anyway, that doesn't prevent the small boy from playing with it. A huge python rolls him on itself and makes himself comfortable. It allows him to play with its head as well. This python is very patient. Or it's cleverer and understands that this is a child and it's not tolerable to attack it. The child's just exploring the world. Now I'll tell you about impressive animal scuffles. It thought it couldn't be seen. In 2017, a Swiss man abandoned his city life and decided to open his own sanctuary, where he began nursing lions, monkeys, and hyenas that had suffered at the hands of poachers. I don't know what kind of relationship he has with the latter, but he certainly seems to have found common ground with lions. In this video, the man was sitting by a tree and resting. The lion, not knowing that the camera was filming, planned to creep up unnoticed and scare its friend. He thinks I can't see him. And this is how it was. <laughs> Moments before the final lunch, the lion received a warning sign from its owner, which forced it to curb its aggressive temper and go into hugging mode. As the man later explained, the lion wasn't even planning to attack him. That's their game. Nevertheless, I would be more careful if I were the Swiss. After all, these animals have exactly the same style of hunting. They creep up on their prey from behind, attack it from above, and bite its neck, thereby knocking the prey down and depriving it of the ability to move. In more than half of these attacks, the hunt's successful. Lions do not run long distances because of their physiological characteristics. They have a very small and weak heart in relation to their large muscular body. Fish been biting? I think it was with this question that this bear came to visit the fisherman. According to the man, he rests in this place every weekend and had never seen a bear before here. That day, the author of the video noticed out of the corner of his eye how a bear came out of the grass completely silent. It seemed that the bear was trying to sneak up, and as soon as it was noticed, it had no choice but to play the role of a simple guest that wanted to ask if the fish were biting or not. Thief being a cat is pretty good, you know? Especially if you have a home and loving owners. Then you're constantly being fed, cuddled, taken for walks, put to a warm and nice crib, and at the same time, they require practically nothing from you. In general, it's the pure pleasure. But there are also situations when some crazy guests break into this carefree life, planning to steal what's prepared for you. 
According to the author of this video, loving owners have given their cat some fried chicken and taken it all outside so that it can walk around as much as it wants. And as soon as it gets an appetite, it can come over and satisfy its hunger. As you can see, just such a moment has come, but then another representative of the fauna crept up to the furball from around the corner. With the words, what's that, chicken, right? The raccoon touched the cat's paw, which provoked a duel. It was brief, but very bright. With a deceptive maneuver, the wild animal bypassed its opponent, got to the bowl, grabbed it, and went away with dignity. The cat jerked to see the guest off, as a polite house owner should, but changed its mind at the last moment. Mm, I'll get him later. Maybe it was offended by the suddenness of the visit, or maybe its ardor was cooled by the fact that the robber got only the shell. It lost the contents almost to the bottom during the robbery. Wild animals can attack not only harmless cats, but also people, especially if they live in Australia. The man in the video is sitting peacefully on his porch, watching something on his iPad and enjoying the warm day. But without realizing it, he was getting closer to being attacked by a rather dangerous snake. It silently crept up on him, thinking about the moment of the bite. And so, when the slithering creature was right under the man's chair, something affected its decision, and it quickly crawled away from there. When the pace of movement changed, the man noticed it, of course, and quickly moved away. I wonder what frightened the snake so much, and for what purpose did it slither so confidently under the man's chair? Share your thoughts in the comments. Curiosity is not a vice. The following story happened in the Canadian town of Coburg, Right in the middle of the night, a surveillance camera recorded an unusual encounter between an owl and a fox. The latter was so interested in the feathered creature that it kept trying to get close to it and sniff it and see what the animal was all about. Although, it seems to me that both creatures had a great interest in each other. The owl wanted to get to know the fox better too. However, overcautiousness separated the creatures and each went on about its own business. Later on, I'll show you cases with spiders you'd better not watch alone. Kinder Surprise Wolf spiders are exactly those creatures from the world of arthropods that no one would want to have anything in common with. There are more than 2,000 species of them in the world, and all of them are incredibly creepy. Take, for example, their desire for procreation. The mother, in any case, does not abandon its babies to themselves. She doesn't need it. Having hatched, the babies immediately climb on their mother's back and hang down their legs. And the first hatchling leaves a web from the cocoon to the mother's back, on which all the others climb. And until the spiderlings do not molt, they do not come down to the ground and do not give their mother peace. They don't ask for food, though. It may seem that this family relationship is exemplary, but it's nothing like that. As soon as the spiders grow up, they get off their mother's back and leave home for good. This is despite the fact that the mother loses up to 30% of its body weight during the time it spends with the cocoon under the sun. That's how the spiderlings are. They're really tough, and it's better not to touch them. The appearance of these creatures is familiar to everyone. A small body and giant thin legs. In some individuals, their span reaches two inches. It's 20 times larger than the body. You can encounter these creatures almost anywhere. In many caves, some burrows, in general, where there's less light and more moisture. Oh yes, how could I forget about their main and most favorite hiding place, a human house? These long-legged creatures have become the eternal companions of humans, and with us, they've spread all over the world. It's up to you to decide whether this is good or bad. On the one hand, an increase in the population of these spider families doesn't mean anything good. On the other hand, it helps to reduce the number of other, possibly more dangerous arthropods. The cellar spider often preys on its congeners, driving them to their own homes and wrapping them up in huge webs. These spiders often kill their own population, but only in cases when they're very hungry. Most often, spiders solve all conflicts in a gentlemanly way, by a duel. The main rule of such fights is no bites and no use of cobwebs. Sea Spiders If any of you think you can hide from spiders in the water, you are sorely mistaken. Mother Nature envisioned such an outcome by creating sea spiders. It created quite a few. Today, there are more than 1,200 species. All of them are completely different, 
live in specific places, and are engaged in certain activities. In shallow waters, you encounter small and simple individuals, which will not surprise you much. But if any of you swim into the depths, that's where the most interesting things begin. The length span of some representatives of the species can reach up to 20 inches. The worst thing about this story is that, except for the legs, in fact, the spiders have nothing. This body structure has given rise to a number of strange phenomena. Their intestine is not only in their bodies but extends all the way down their legs. Digesting food in the limbs is a unique thing in the animal world. But that's not all. Sea spiders never cease to amaze. These creatures also breathe through their legs, at the end of the limb through a special hole. The hemolymph is enriched with oxygen, and thanks to the contraction of the intestine that's in the legs, oxygen circulates through the body. The only good thing is that sea spiders do not attack humans, because I've already imagined a scene from a sci-fi movie when a giant spider swallows a man with its legs. Brr. Nightmare. It seems to me that many people have allowed for the possibility of being attacked while sleeping. Mosquitoes, some imaginary monsters if we're talking about children, or spiders if we're talking about adults. That's why I'm not in a hurry to go camping. I don't know what kind of forest monster is going to come down from the trees in the middle of the night. Wait a minute. It seems even at home it's not always safe. In this video, a little girl was resting peacefully in her bed and enjoying her sleep while a giant and terrifying spider hung right over her head. This terrible arthropod descended to the little girl on its tenacious and strong cobweb, and I already thought that that's it. Something terrible is about to happen. But luckily, everything turned out well, and the girl remained unharmed. I hope that her parents will not show her this footage, or she can get arachnophobia for life. After the story with the little girl, I'd check your apartment, clean it up, and make sure you don't have any uninvited guests living there. You might find yourself sharing a house with new friends right now, like people in this video. And the funny thing is that one can't say anything to these neighbors. It's kind of scary to drive them away. People can't kill them either. We've been told that since childhood. So what should they do? Share your options in the comments. Took in. Children usually ask their parents for a cat or dog. When they grow up, if their wish was not fulfilled, some may take in a stray animal right from the street. And if some parents react negatively to this, then you know it's better to do this way than it was in this story. An Australian man noticed a giant huntsman spider settling in his home, and instead of calling a service or dealing with the problem personally, the man left it with him. The spider was given the name Charlotte and watched for over a year. During that time, the arthropod grew up to an incredible size. According to the man's loved ones, they find comfort in the fact that Charlotte feeds on all the cockroaches and other nasty things that are very undesirable in the house. You know, sometimes it really is better to accept your circumstances. The spider from the previous story was venomous, which is not the case with this arthropod friend. It appeared in the house of people randomly, no one called it, and the worst thing is that people began to panic incredibly because of it. Now they have a tiny spider and a big and intelligent man who behaves like a child. He says he won't live here until the spider's caught. The man is willing to live on the dresser to avoid contact with this living evil. Although it's easy for us to judge people's actions, it's easy for us to say, just go and catch it, what are you afraid of? But when it comes to action, something like this can happen. The man was spraying some kind of product on the arthropod and thought it was about to lose its strength. But I think that just got the spider angry. It pulled itself together and jumped as hard as it could right at the man. How did it even have the energy to do it? Well, you've had your daily dose of fright. Now I suggest you switch gears and take a look at the rarest and most unusual spiders in the world. Keep watching. It's going to be interesting. Let's start with the peacock tarantula. It can be confidently called one of the most beautiful and rarest tarantulas. The dream of many keepers is to have this species in their collection. One of the main features of the species is the complete absence of irritating hairs. And no, this doesn't mean that it's calm and peaceful. Just the opposite, the tarantula is nervous, aggressive, and incredibly fast. 
It has one of the most toxic venoms among tarantulas of its family and among all spiders in general. What do you think of this arthropod? Write what you think in the comments. Heteropoda maxima I think that if the Harry Potter story was real, then that giant spider named Aragog might have looked like this when he was a kid. But why haven't we heard of it before if it's so big? The fact is that Aragog from the real world doesn't want that. In order to get some privacy and get away from the hustle and bustle of the city, Heteropoda maxima, that's its scientific name, specially settled in the depths of the caves of Laos. And this species so coolly coped with camouflage and so skillfully hid from people that they learned about it only in 2001. And this is despite the fact that Heteropoda maxima can have a leg span of up to 12 inches. It's good to know that at least its venom is not dangerous to us. Cave dwellers, on the other hand, are much less fortunate. The diet of Heteropoda maxima includes everything that crawls, jumps, and flies within its size and reach. At the tips of its legs, there are special mechanisms that detect the movements of creatures around it. The slightest vibration and the prey will immediately be caught. Trap Door Spider Look, I've seen and expected all sorts of things, but this unusual spider, this is something new. Meet Cyclocosmia, an arthropod with a truncated abdomen from behind on which there are patterns and prickly hairs, hence the many different names for these spiders. Printing Spider, Trapdoor Spider, Coin Spider, Money Trapdoor Spider, and so on. To find them in life is quite difficult because they love sandy and clay sandy soils where it's convenient to dig vertical burrows from three to six inches deep. The spiders climb into them so that the abdomen closes the entrance like a manhole cover. This process is called phragmosis. Threads of spider cobwebs are pulled out of the burrow, covered with sand and dirt. Thus, these bandits are waiting for their prey, and their prey is small animals, inferior to the hunter in terms of size. That's all, guys. Are you afraid of spiders? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.